We are back trying to make $1 million with no job. When we left off, we had gone on a honeymoon with our last partner and they, they died. I'm really sad about it, but I don't know. I'm also feeling a little bit annoyed. Like what the hell? I planned this whole honeymoon for us and then you die on it. But either way, we are here single again. And I'm thinking it's time that we get right back out there. We need to find our next partner. Unfortunately though, as we all already know, my reputation, it cannot get any worse. So I do think it's gonna be a little bit difficult to find someone who wants to date us. Luckily you guys, I did get a new expansion pack. It's called Lovestruck and there is this whole new dating element to the game. There's this thing called Cupid's Corner. It's like literally a dating app within the game. So I think this is the perfect way to find our next partner because like on real life dating apps, we can kind of catfish a little bit, you know? We can withhold some information about ourselves like our atrocious reputation. All right, before we get on the dating app, let's set up our turn ons and turn offs. I'm hoping there's one in here about money, like turn ons rich turn offs broke oh <laughs> broke sims with this turn on are attracted to sims with a net worth of under 10,000 um yeah i'm turn i'm doing dislike for that i'm not attracted to that okay where's the rich one though like is there oh here it is <laughs> wealthy sims with this turn on are attracted to sims with a net worth of over 500k oh my god i mean yes i am highly skilled arts and crafts Ugh, i feel like the only thing that's really important to me is the money amount you know gift giving you know what i like that Maybe they will give me money as gifts. Hair color. I don't care what color you have as long as you've got a lot of money. Fashion. Okay, none of this other stuff matters. It's all about the money. So I think we're good to go here. All right, now let's set up our dating profile. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, whoa. This picture they got on here for me is amazing. I look so good. Sexual orientation, attracted to women and men. I'm looking for young adults, adults, elders. That sounds good to me. I describe myself as, okay, we can pick like our traits, I guess. Capable mountaineer. That would be the craziest one to put on my dating profile because it's like completely catfishing. <laughs> I might do that one. Fear of fire. That might be good to put on my profile. Like it might get people off my tail when I start a fire. Like, oh, I'm not starting these fires because I'm so afraid of fire. I'll do anything to get away from it. You know what I mean? Kleptomaniac. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't think I should put this one on there. People person. Oh, that's a good one. Sims living a people person lifestyle have an easier time building and maintaining large friend groups. Okay, hold on. I think the two best ones might be either romantic, people person, and I'm liking capable mountaineer because that's so not true about me. Like I kind of love like just faking it, you know, faking it till I, I make it out here. I think I'm gonna do capable mountaineer and romantic. <laughs> Okay, this picture is really good, but I kind of want to take a new one. Like, I want to see how this works. Okay, I mean, it's a little like, hey mama vibes. Got the muscles out, where my hug at type attitude. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right, oh my God, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think the strategy here is let's, let's go on a couple of dates. Let's meet a couple of people and then we feel out like the vibe of who's the richest and then we'll marry them. Something that's missing on these profiles is money amount. Like I wanna know like the like the bank account numbers, you know? Nancy, Nancy, what are you doing on here? Graham, okay. <gasps> Ooh, wait, I'm loving this. Generous, Graham is generous. I think I'm gonna like that. Oh, you know what? I wanna like Griffin too. I don't know, this picture's kinda cute. Vaughn. 
Ooh, okay, Vaughn. I'm liking this overachiever. That gives me the vibes that he probably has a lot of money because he's like trying to achieve so much, like that he's just, you know, bringing in so much money. I don't, I think I'm gonna like that. Ooh, wait a second. Look at this trophy. I feel like only rich people would have trophies. Am I right? I'm liking that. Honestly, we need to meet up just to be friends so I can help you out with your dating profile. Cause why would you put socially awkward and unflirty on your profile here? I feel like only rich people would be wise. You know what I'm saying? Alma, okay, wait. Alma's got the trophy and Alma hates children, which is perfect because she won't have any baggage, AKA children. Because listen, guys, I can't kill someone who has a child. I just can't. Something else about Alma, she's got the, the fuck lighthouse in the background of her picture. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Mila. Mila. Mila's from Windenburg. I'm feeling like she's got a house. That's actually, that's huge. Okay, this man looks rich. I don't know, something about him. I just have a feeling he's got a lot of money. Okay, so I can only refresh my matches in another 12 hours. So let's go ahead and see all the people we have saved here. We got a lot, we've got eight people. <laughs> this is exciting. It's 4 a.m. So I'm just gonna take a quick nap. And when it's a little bit more of an appropriate time, we're gonna set up a date with one of these people we just matched with. Okay, wake up. It's 5 a.m. I'm sure someone wants to go on a 6 a.m. date. Oh, it sucks that my Sim is so sad over the death at her honeymoon. Like I really need to pull it together for the date. All right. Um, <laughs> this picture is just... I mean, it's perfect. Let's see, who do I wanna go on a date with first? Ooh, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling Graham. The generous trait here is really calling my name. And also he's an adult, but he's already got gray hair. I love that. I just love that because I, don't know, I feel like maybe he's closer to death low key, you know? Let's ask him to create a date. Clever take on him. Wait, what? Graham didn't pick up the phone. Some Sims need to sleep. It's 5.58 a.m. Get the fuck up. Wake the fuck up and get the fuck to our date. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try someone else. I'm gonna try someone else. Vaughn could be good. Overachiever equals lots of money. Let's call him instead. See if he picks up. Sims what is going on? Vaughn didn't pick up the phone. Some Sims need to sleep. It's almost 6.30 a.m. Get the fuck up. What is going on? Nobody wants to work anymore. Whatever, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat breakfast really quick and then I'm just, I'm gonna try again. Ooh. I forgot when it's Harvest Fest, gnomes just like appear throughout your house. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and sell these really quick for a little extra buck here. 275, 210. And I feel like there's always a third one, right? No, I guess I only got two. Okay, I mean, it's pretty much $500. I'll take it. Okay, it's 7 a.m. Someone needs to be awake by now. Let's try again. I'm gonna go ahead and try for Graham again. Graham getting his third call for me <laughs> in two hours and we've never even met yet. I don't know, I'm kind of giving red flags, but hopefully he'll just ignore them. <gasps> okay, oh my God, he said yes. <gasps> I'm so excited. Let's do the get to know you date. This will be a good way to kind of see if we're compatible with the people that we're going on these dates with. We could bring a third wheel, what the hell? <laughs> Activities for our date. We need to pick three. Okay, well let's be romantic. Let's be friendly and let's dance. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, let's go to the nightclub at 7.25 a.m. I feel like that's perfect, especially because we have dancing as one of the activities. So yeah, let's let's go here. Okay, here we are at the nightclub, 7.26 a.m. Or should we call it the morning club, you guys? Hold on, let me get a better look at him. 
Okay, interesting. He's not graying. He just uh, has like white hair on the top only. Ooh, this place looks cool. What the hell? All right, let's go inside and sit at the bar and let's start to get to know each other. Are sparks going to fly or is it gonna be a flop? Let's find out. Discuss interests. Let's start there. Yep. Okay, we, we learned a lot about him. Foodie, party animal, cringe, romantically reserved. I don't give a f What about bank account balance? Here, let's try something else. Let's ask about um, career. Ask about career. Oh! Jen has learned that Grim is unemployed. Oh. Oh my god, Graham, I have to- Graham, I have to go to the bathroom really quick. Oh my god. Shit. 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 Stuck on this date with an unemployed man. What am I gonna do? Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. Oh wait, what?! Oh my god, he just walked in on me! Ew! Ew, ew, ew! What are you doing in here? Get out, get out! Oh my god, I feel like he's a stage five clinger, you guys. We've spoken two sentences to each other, and he followed me to the bathroom, like... Ugh, okay, hold on. I want to get to know him a little bit more, okay? I, I, maybe, maybe he's unemployed because he comes from a rich family, you guys. Let's go sit back down at the bar and see if we can get any more hints about how much money he has. Where's he going? Oh, Wibbly! Ew! Ew! What was that? Ew, did he just get up and dab? What the f***? I'm gonna explain my attraction level to him so I can find out if I'm into him or not. And my only likes is money, and my only dislikes is broke, so... Your attraction to me is neutral? I'm not sure why you needed to explain that, but thanks, I guess. Okay. Wait, so is there a different way to find out my attraction level? Besides like telling him and offending him. <laughs> so I'm guessing he's not rich, but he's not broke then. Let's test this out a little bit more by asking for a small loan. Let's see if he'll give us some money. <gasps> okay, wait, he just gave me $500. Okay, it, ew, ew, what is he doing? Ew, 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 okay. You know what? I, uh, I can't. Date actions and date abruptly. Dag. X, annoy. Oh, Shabney. Oh, Garul. Oh. oh my God. Yeah, Graham, there is an emergency. I have to get, I have to get out of here. Wait, what's this? Oh, hold on, I'm taking this. Okay, let's go home. Okay, I'm back home. Oh my god, date went so bad, I'm legit crying, you guys. Oh, oh my god! The third gnome. Let me go ahead and sell that real quick. Thank you very much. Who is this? Ew, it's Vaughn! It's one of the guys I matched with, but I haven't met yet. Oh my god, get inside. Get inside. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Anyway, when I was at the nightclub, I shoved something in my crack. Oh, here it is. A little, uh, suitcase full of clothing, huh? What is this? Wear playful costume. Fantasy. <gasps> what? Alien? Hold on. Whoa! <gasps> Grim Reaper. Stop. Eggplant. Oh. What? What the hell is this? Oh, you can literally role play with this shit, huh? Catfish, what's that? Ew. <laughs> Okay, I'm going on my next date in this and I will be keeping this. I'm just gonna move it into the bedroom. I feel like it should go in here. All right, let's open back up Cupid's Corner and let's try going on a date with someone else. The 
picture. It just gives me a little, it gives me a little shock every time. I would say let's try Vaughn next because he was the other person we tried to call at six in the morning, but I'm feeling really scared about the fact that he was standing outside my my door. So instead, let's try this guy Argus. He's got a gold trophy in his arms, so I feel like he has to have money. Okay, and I want to go back to this nightclub. I feel like this is a really good place to have a first date. <laughs> oh my god, I am in the costume. Perfect. 12 p.m. at the nightclub, you guys. Call that a day club. So yeah, let's get in here on- <gasps> Oh no! What the hell is he still doing here? Oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can go out here to this courtyard really quickly without him noticing us. Okay. Oh! Okay, wait, maybe he doesn't know it's me because I'm in costume, you guys. Maybe he doesn't know, like, let's see, from his point of view, can he see that it's me? <laughs> um... Yeah, he can probably see that it's me. Wait, what the hell is my date wearing? Maybe he didn't notice me. He seems to be just walking out without a care in the world. And okay, cool. We're in. Where are you going? What the hell? Hello? Um, is he leaving? Here, let me go try and sit over here. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's get to know each other. It's pretty hard because I'm so sad though. I can't really flirt or do anything that I would want to do on a date. Maybe I need to go to the bathroom and do drugs. Just stay right here. I'll be right back, okay? He hates to see me go, but he loves to watch me leave. Moodlet solver. That's the one. All right, drink it up. What? No, no, girl, stay in the bathroom when you do that. No, go back to the bathroom. N uh. Girl, get in the bathroom. Okay. All right, and I'm back. I'm back to business, you guys. Let's go. Whoa, there's a lot of people at the club right now. Any hotties? Oh, who's this guy? Oh, wait, I am on a date. Maybe I should pay attention. Okay, now that I can flirt, uh, let's see. Let's um compliment appearance. Oh, who's this? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta focus on my date. I gotta focus on my date. All right, let's get to know some things about him, like uh, what his job is. No! Oh, Jen has learned that Argus is unemployed. What? Why is this happening? I keep going on dates with unemployed men. Gotta do the loan test. Ask for small loan. Let's see. Oh, hello. Who's that? Oh, wait a second. I'm on a date. Me? No loan? Let's go ahead and do the attraction test. Neutral. Once again, not a Richie, but not a Brokey. But... He's honestly doing worse than the last guy. Like, he didn't give us a loan. He is doing better in the sense that he didn't dab and he didn't do a really weird dance and he didn't follow us to the bathroom. So, I don't know. He's not the worst date we've been on. And it's only the second date, but... He's not the worst. What's this? Seduce with costume? Hold on, let me try that real quick. Whoa. Girl, what? Here at the club? You're gonna do that here? He's looking matching my freak a little bit. Like, I'm kinda into it. Whoa. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, but let me just look around the club, see who else is here. <laughs> Dominic. Okay, I'm liking Dominic. 
He's cute. And who's this? Bjorn. Okay, I'm liking him too. Ooh, jump scare. Uh, Mortimer's here. Who are these men over here? Okay, there's so many people at the club right now. Oh, oh, that's Ian Robles. <laughs> what the hell? Why aren't you guys on the dating app? Like, I feel like I got a bunch of duds on my app. Uh, can I refresh yet? Me opening the dating app while I'm seductively dancing with my date. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Every time I open it, scares me. Oh, okay, wait, I can refresh my matches in less than one hour. You know what? It's been great, Argus, but I don't know if we are uh, hitting it off as much as I'd like to. AKA, I, you, I don't think you have a lot of money. Oh no, someone called me with an emergency. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at all these hotties at the bar. What the hell is going on? All right, we can refresh our matches on Cupid's Corner. Let's go ahead and do that and see if we can find anyone else. Hopefully one of these hotties at the club is on here. Rigoberto. Okay, kind of matching my freak a little bit with the kleptomaniac and he's not ashamed to share it. Uh, I like that. Oh. <gasps> Ian, he is at the club right now, but oh my God, I can't. Jarrett, hold on Jarrett. Silver Fox, sexy man right here. And he's a kleptomaniac. Whoa, whoa, this picture. <laughs> I feel like her back got blown out. Oh, Mortimer, what are you doing on here? There needs to be like a rule or a law, honestly. This is shocking every time I, I see someone on here who, you know, I've previously been involved with because I've killed one of their family members. Orion, okay, erratic. I'm down for that. Let's see if one of our new matches will meet us at the club right now. Wait, why can't I ask to create a date? What? You've contacted the maximum number of Sims for today. Come back tomorrow to contact more Sims. The hell, do I only have the like free version of Cupid's Corner? I need to like pay for premium so I can talk to more Sims. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna change out of this catfish costume and I'm just gonna meet someone in real life, like back in the good old days. Hector Lauren is calling me. Wait a second. I'm wealthy, very wealthy. Just last month, I bought Social Bunny and Cupid's Corner. Just straight up bought them. You caught my eye and I was hoping to get the chance to meet you in person. I know it's a lot to ask, but I have gifts for you. What do you say? What the hell? I feel like I manifested this. I like how if you say no, you have to say no thanks, weirdo. <laughs> Hector Lauren, I'm pretty sure we were at his house one time when a fire started and one of his family members died while we were there and we've like stolen off his computers. That being said, his house is really big. I kind of do believe him when he says he's wealthy, very wealthy. So let's meet up with him. Okay, he said, hey, that's great. I would send a limo, but I'm kind of a cheapskate. Wait, what? I'll be waiting at the Beso Rapido Motel in Vista Hermosa. I can only meet today. Very busy with many CEO things. Hope to see you. Okay, um, Beso Rapido Motel? Like, fast kiss motel? I don't... What is, what kind of meetup are we having here? Well, let's go. Some people in the chat are saying major red flag, girl, it's giving dateline. Uh, I don't know you guys, he said he's really rich. Where the hell is this hotel? Am I gonna get killed? <laughs> Someone said if he was rich, we wouldn't be meeting him at a motel. I don't know, what if he rented out every room in the motel, you guys? Yeah, some people are saying he could own the motel. I'm, th I'm thinking that too, you guys, he might own the motel. Anyway, we're in the neighborhood, we just need to find it now. Oh, is this it? It says meet wealthy weirdo. <laughs> is this the motel? I don't know, I, I made it this far, you guys. I'm right across the street. I feel like I should just go in there and meet him. He said he has some gifts for me. Here, I'm gonna change out of my catfish costume before I go in there. Let's change into uh, just my normal clothes. Mm, looks a little run down at the crack in the wall, but uh, I think it should be okay. What's going on in here? Meet wealthy weirdo, it's almost over. Only been in there for a couple of minutes. 
Okay. What just happened in there? Hey, thanks for meeting me. Oh, you wanted some gifts, right? Check your pockets. What did I just do in there? Weird meeting. Jen met the wealthy weirdo and it was so weird. Who would have thought someone that age would still be into void critters? What the hell does that mean? Oh my God, he gave me a lot of gifts. Oh my God, he gave me space rock, a naturally large space rock. Oh my God, there's a lot of rocks in here. What's this? Goth boy? What the hell is this shit? Axolotl? He gave me like animals? Axolotl? Hold on. Let me go home really quick. Someone in the chat said he filled you and your pockets. What do you mean by that? Bro, what the hell? It's an it's an axolotl. Wait. Why is it wearing glasses and have lips? Wait, hold on. So he gave me pets right now? Okay, stop playing in trash girl. This is serious. I don't even have space for these. Like, what am I supposed to do with this axolotl? Okay, I'll just put it over here for now. What's this one? This one's blue. What am I supposed to do with these? They're not even worth any money. Like, I can't sell them for anything. So I guess I'm just have two new pets. Here, I'm gonna move this bear and put one on my side table. And I'll just keep the other one in the kitchen over here. Well, anyway, let's see. We can sell all of this other stuff that he gave us. $100 plus $24 plus $18. Okay, wait. Plus $360 plus 108 plus 200 plus 275. Okay, I feel like maybe close to $1,000 there. Uh, but I don't know what happened to me in the motel. Like I've, I don't know if it was worth it. Um, anyway, you guys, after I calm down in the mirror, I think I'm just going to head back to the club and see if I can meet someone the good old fashioned way. Like I was planning to before I got lured into going to the sketchy motel for a couple of axolotls. He got you back by blowing your back out. I really do feel like something crazy like that happened. Finally, we're at the nightclub, you guys, and it's night. Call that a nightclub. Wait, why are there ghosts at the nightclub tonight? Who's this? Brent and Barrow. Oh my God, the ghosts of my past. Never got the chance to, to marry Barrow. And Brent, I mean, we all remember what happened with him. Oh, who's this? Where'd he go? Oh. Ew! <gasps> Ew, 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 you guys. It's Hector Lauren, the guy I just met at the motel. Oh my God, I'm feeling so violated right now. Like I need to run in here now. I need to run in here now, go. Bro, get in there, go. Oh my God, I'm so freaked out, you guys. What the hell? Okay, but who's this? Dustin Broke, hold on. His last name is Broke, but he's a B-lister. So that's kind of giving rich. <laughs> make it make sense. I think I'm gonna try and meet him. Whopping now! <laughs> um, I don't know if that worked very well. All right, who else is here? Let's see. We've got, um, okay, this hottie's here, Dominic. I'm liking him. Who's this hottie? Marcus. I'm liking him too. Oh, we've got a clown here. Who's this? Ava. Okay, there's some hotties here. Let me, let me go talk to these guys. Flirty introduction. Wait, what just happened? Oh my God, everyone's thinking about me. Oh God, I think I was just trying to steal the piano over here. What the hell? Time and place, seriously. Why would you try to steal a piano in front of <laughs> like literally 15 people? Uh, hopefully this doesn't affect me trying to get to know these guys over here. Okay, we're hitting it off here. Okay, me and this guy are hitting it off, Dominic. Oh, Joaquin and I hit it off pretty well. Oh look, Joaquin's already saying something. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too. Okay, hold on, Joaquin. Let's create a date real quick. Okay, he said yes. Okay, wait, I'm loving this. He's cute. Let's stay at the club. Let's have this date real quick. Okay, Joaquin, let's sit over here. 
Don't act too excited about sitting next to me. Let's get this date started. He's cute. Let's see. Let's see if he's into me. I'm going to ask if he's into, if he's attracted to me. Mary and I. <laughs> well, there are a few things I care about when it comes to a partner's personality. These are the things I care about. Highly skilled Sims. Wealthy Sims. Egotistical Sims. I feel like I'm all three of those. Okay, low key. Like I've got a lot of money. I've got some high skills. Check this out, you guys. Bam. Cooking and mischief. And ego is through the roof, baby. It's big. Let's ask him about his career. Why don't you put that fucking phone down? Oh, okay. Wait, he has a job. He has a job. The bar is so low, you guys. The first guy who has a job is crazy. I'm loving this date so far, you guys. Like, I feel like we're really matching each other's vibe right now. Like, look at him. Busting that back down and blowing it out. Oh my God, it's 2 a.m. already and we're still going at it. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. I feel like we're super compatible. <gasps> Amazing compatibility. Oh, what the hell is he wearing on the left? I'm just gonna pretend like I never saw that. All right, let's flirt it up a little. Can we kiss? Okay, a little kissing. Romance, oh, embrace. Oh my God, let's go. Oh, stop, this is going so well, look. Joaquin is sort of falling for Jen and wants to ask her if she would like a relationship. Do you want this to happen? Yes, let's become romantic partners. Oh my god, I'm freaking out, you guys. I think we found our next person. The next person that we're gonna spend the rest of our lives with for forever and eternity. Let's let's keep this going. The date's almost over, but let's end it on a high note. Maybe we could have a first kiss or something. Yep, here we go. First kiss. Hey, Joaquin. Playing a big one on mama. Oh my God, this is going so well. Oh my God, it's going so well. I have bubble gut because I'm so nervous about how fast this is going. We gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Okay, well, the date's over. Oh, he left the club, but I don't want this night to end. I know it's late, but I don't want this night to end, you guys. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go find him. I'm gonna go find where he is, where he lives. I'm gonna show up at his house. I will find him. I will check every single house and I will find him. The Munch residence. What the hell? We have to get with one of them next. We have to. Where is my man? Where is he? I will go anywhere. There he is. I found his house. I found him. He's right there. He's in his chair in his living room. I found him. There's someone in the backyard. Who is this? Sergio. Okay. So he's just living with one other dude in here. I mean, they, it's called the bro household. So I think that's just his bro. I found your house. I found you. Okay, he's not mad about it. He's actually loving this that I showed up. He greeted me with a kiss. Uh, let's check out this uh this pad he's got here. Okay, low key, it looks like he has money. Like what the hell? Is this his room? He's got a whole DJ set up in here. A little bit bachelor pad vibes, but you know, I can lock him down. I missed you, Joaquin. You left me at the club. I had to come find you. I miss you so much. Introdu go introduce me to your roommate out there. Oh my God, this is going amazing, you guys. Who would have thought? Jen and Joaquin are both very satisfied in their relationship. Sergio made some uh, wieners for us. Let's get some. Sergio, wait, I was just coming out to meet you. I know a hot dog hate to see me coming. Let me grab one of these. Literally about to inhale this. What the fuck was that? Oh no! Oh no! This can't be happening to me again, you guys. Are you serious? Hold on. It could have been like, you know, some people like Europeans, like they greet each other with like kisses on the cheeks. So maybe uh, like they're European. We are in Windenburg in The Sims right now. That's the world we're in. So I feel like that's kind of like the European vibe. Maybe that's what was going on there. 
Yeah, that's probably what's going on. I just got super triggered because if you guys remember, the last person I was in a relationship with totally blindsided me with the fact that they were in a relationship with someone else. So I just got super triggered there. I've never woohooed in the closet before. I kind of want to try that. Let's go Joaquin. Why does Joaquin have a closet like so big, by the way? Like, um, Wait, what? What is going on? Sergio must have heard some crazy noises coming from his roommate, Joaquin's room. Decided to come in here, but now it's looking like he's a little hot and bothered. I don't know, like it's making me a little uncomfortable. Like, why is he watching this? And whoa, these doors are about to snap in half. What is going on in the closet? Oh my god, do we break the doors? Jarjuk? Jarjuk. Okay, all right, I have so many questions, seriously. I love how right after the woohoo, I, I started DJing. Like, what am I doing? Go to bed, girl. Cuddle in bed with Joaquin. Come on, Joaquin. Whoa, where do they live? <laughs> where are we? The edge of the earth? What is this? Wait, what? Hold on. What just happened? Sergio just ran in here and said, you can't do that, that's inappropriate. What are you talking about, Sergio? I'm literally in Joaquin's bed with him, we're dating. Why can't I sleep here? He just ran in here and woke us up. Mm, no, we're going back to bed, okay? Thank you very much. Go to sleep cuddling. What? He's coming in here again. Why am I not allowed to sleep here? Yeah, and stay out. Oh, he just left. Okay, finally, I can get a little rest in here because Sergio left. Alice, Spencer, Kim, I heard that you like to steal things. I don't think I want you in my home anymore. That's it. After I get a little rest, I'm proposing to my man, Joaquin, and I'm taking my ass over to the Spencer Kim family. Time for the big proposal. <gasps> he said yips. You guys, I am so excited right now. Wow. Whoa. Garza. What the hell was that? Maybe he's just got super excited, you know, like I am too, which is why we need to do a little celebration before I leave. Joaquin, I'm so excited. We're engaged. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Fire? Why did that happen? Why did that happen? I'm getting out of here. Joaquin, get out of there. What are you doing? Get out. Joaquin, don't just stand there. You, you gotta get out of there. Oh, okay. There he goes. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh my god. Why does this always happen to me? Why? Why? I just want to celebrate and have a good time. Why? 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 Okay, is someone gonna call the fire department? Like, someone's got to do something here. I'll just fast forward and I'm sure like someone will call the fire department when um, the time speeds up. Oh, wait a second. Joaquin left. Why did he leave? I'm the only one here now. Oh no, Joaquin's... Joaquin's TV is on fire. Hold on, they probably got some expensive stuff here. I need to call the fire department because I could steal something now that neither of them are home, but not if it burns, not if it burns. Here they are, Akemi, get in there, girl. That fire's not gonna put itself out. Hold on, just look at it. Why does the one firefighter on the front porch not give a single f Look at her face, she doesn't give a single f Oh my god. Guys, put it out. 
Okay, there they go. You guys seriously let, uh... Oh my god, what the hell is his name? Oh, Joaquin. Oh my god. We just got engaged too, I forgot. You guys let Joaquin's bed burn to a fucking crisp? Like, seriously? Where are we gonna woohoo now? Oh my god, seriously? They're dancing again. Okay, you guys can stop dancing now and leave so I could, uh, steal something. Like, let's see, what can I steal? I could take- oh, I could take this. I feel like this is gonna be a lot of money here. I could take the TV. Can I take the DJ set? I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Okay, they need to get out of here so I can take it before uh, Sergio or Joaquin get home. Go, stop dancing and get out of here. Thank you. All right, here I go. Oh my god, where the hell did I put that? Oh, and just in time, Sergio is home. I'm out of here. Okay, whew. I'm home and wow, you guys, a lot just happened. We went to the club single and we came home engaged. Crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that DJ table that I just stole. I feel like this is gonna be worth a lot. Let's find out. <laughs> $1,000? I mean, at least it's a thousand, but I just feel like this is huge. Like how is this not worth more than that? But you know what, I will take it. And it looks like I also stole some candles maybe, or maybe I got this from the date I went on. I don't know. Either way, I'm selling these $115. And to end off this episode, Alice Spencer Kim, do not think that I forgot about you. I am coming to your house right now, breaking in, and I will be stealing. I will find your house, wherever it is. I feel like they live in Willow Creek. And at this one, yup. I knew it. I'm teaching Alice a lesson she will never forget. She should never ever spread nasty rumors about me. How I steal. Like what? That's not even true. And I'm in. Oh, um, who? Vivian Lewis. Dennis Kim, rest in peace. Okay, I just stole, so I need to wait three hours until I can steal again. In the meantime, I am gonna teach them some serious lessons here, clogging every drain in their house. Alice is gonna wish she never fucking sent that text. And I'm gonna shave my pubes in the shower too. Yup, take that. And here I go in the shower too, take this. Yup, take that, take that. Yup, Alice, don't you f***ing forget it. Yup. Let me get in here in the bathroom too, take a picture over here. Yup, I did that. I'm built different. And don't you forget it. Do not forget it. Do not. Oh my god, the time. Oh no, 49 minutes until I can steal. Okay, I really want this computer back here. Uh, maybe I'll just stand outside in case they come home. I won't like be inside the house. Like I didn't like break in. Oh no, he caught me. Shit. I'm not even in your house. I'm just in the backyard. Oh no, here he comes. Oh, he already hates me. Oh God. Oh wait, it canceled. He doesn't care. He's like, oh, it's just her again. <laughs> oh, oh, girl, get up, get up. You can steal. Go, 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 go. Take it. Up and quick selfie really quick. This one's for you, Alice. Where's your computer? Perfect. I literally got her so fucking good. Like, are you kidding? Imagine she goes to log on to Facebook and this is all she's got on her desk. Never send me another text again. I'm out of here. And I'm home after a very successful mission. Let's go ahead and wrap up this episode by selling this computer. A light $4,000, no big deal. And this is where we are going to end it because in the next episode, we're gonna have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11th 
wedding. That was a pretty successful episode, you guys. We went on a lot of dates. Some of them, you know, they were major busts, but it all worked out because we ended up with our Prince Charming, you guys. And we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together forever and ever. I can't wait. Huge wedding in the next episode. It's gonna be big. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye, YouTube.